ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு பியூர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் ஆன்லைன் சத்சங் திஸ் ஆன்லைன் மீட்டிங் இஸ் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் டு மீட் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் த ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மேட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஆன்சர் சம் ஆஃப் யுர் கொஷன்ஸ் கிளியர் யூர் டவுட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் எவர் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் யூ இஷ்யூஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு யுவர் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் அண்ட் வி ஆல்சோ டிஸ்கஸ் த ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஆஃப் த ப்ரோக்ராம் ஹியர் ஸோ இஃப் எனிபடி ஹேஸ் எனி கொஷின் most welcome to write it, write it down or they can say it if they want to say it pratip is saying yogis explored knowledge of body from within i think they paid extreme attention to it they found deeper structure to experience of body in some texts it is told that yogis can perceive inner details of body this knowledge is useful in many ways for him. why they couldn't s- stop in emptiness the essence of experience sir essence of experiences and created such elaborate system so when you reach the emptiness it is boring there is nothing to do in the emptiness it is a lot of bliss pleasure you can stay in that state forever but uh, there are people who who have the energy to do to find to explore there are all kinds of people isn't it so some people they cannot sit in a cave in emptiness how much can you dwell on the emptiness what can, what is there to think about the emptiness what is there to explore in the emptiness it's emptiness so once you realize this there is nothing else to do but to explore whatever there is so they did the exploration so there are ways to explore things you know the, your five senses gross senses are the primary it's primary way they are extremely lim- limited and so the the instruments they can augment the senses like you can study the body using using the x rays mri or you can cut it you cut the body dead body and then that is the primary senses only how to study the living body you fortunately have a living body hopefully and then uh, you just use the internal senses in the body to study it there are many internal senses as you know the sense pyramid thing and the five senses don't give you that much knowledge but the internal senses give you more knowledge because they are more in number that is how we know that we are alive we are a human because of the internal senses so you will get more knowledge that way uh, somehow that is lost now that art is lost people rely too much on their uh, five senses physical senses only that is called the physical science there is a science of the body which relies on the internal senses plus the external obviously more on internal that is how they could find the nadis and all these things the meridian system based on the sensations coming from the internal senses by internal i don't mean non physical they are physical only but uh, the modern science has nothing like this you see because it has not developed and probably it has deteriorated it has decayed since it was discovered and there is not much progress except probably in the eastern countries like china and vietnam and all this place they are act there are experts there in india also we have nadi system and all pran my kosh the pranic view of the body probably everybody knows the five main energies five main winds in the body but beyond that nobody has much experience there are books yes it uh, is not not being put in practice so there is one more way to know the body and that is the non physical senses from where these all these systems and traditions of healing they come and unfortunately that is also has not developed so much like you we never say that it is mainstream what is mainstream is the gross way the lowest possible way is the mainstream there has to be reason for that the reason is ignorance 99.99% people are ignorant of these things you go to a doctor and you you tell him that i saw that there is something in my body from my non physical senses he is going to laugh at you but there are people who have the non physical senses and they can diagnose your body sometimes by touching it sometimes by simply looking at it sometimes only through a photo you send them a photo and they know what is there in photo nothing 
the photo is only way to connect to the universal memory where there is your body you see where is your body in the universal memory not on earth that is old that is faulty view your body is always a memory in the universal mind now it is possible to connect to it use your non physical subtle senses or whatever they are called you know i i did not bother to name all of them there are and there are so many just like i said there, there is no limit if you want it it will be created for you so that is called the remote diagnosis or remote healing or whatever you use and then you use the power of intention to heal it that is another thing you see diagnosis is one thing and then cure is other thing so as you go higher on the sense pyramid you will find that uh, the study of the body changes and uh, the diagnosis of the diseases of the body or any abnormality there changes ways to diagnose change sometimes you know if if you are only uh, based on the internal senses or things like that then you may need to touch the body or you you may need to be physically present there to get the feel of it or something but as you go higher in the sense pyramid you don't need to present sometimes a name is enough sometimes the photo is enough sometimes piece of hair they used to send uh, like piece of hair to the do- doctor old days he used to just look at the hair so there is nothing in hair it is only an index to the memory like we say in software record number this 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 that is what the hair is telling them and then the um, knowledge appears of that memory and it appears with all the faults in that body it is possible so why can't i do it why can't anybody do it and they never try it this skill is never developed nobody teaches you there are teachers who teach these things i i know the healing and all this very popular but <laughs> it has not become mainstream because it requires a lot of intellectual development and spiritual development you see you know uh, if Uh, you cannot use your internal senses or the non physical senses or any more senses what does that mean spiritually underdeveloped undeveloped so as you you progress in your spiritual path you will get all these so called abilities they are not abilities they are just your natural ability they are not magical abilities so as you progress you will be able to use all these senses you will be able to diagnose and then if you develop your intention spiritual intention you will be able to heal so that day i was talking about the ayurved and the poor state of ayurved <laughs> in india and uh, in the world and i told you that the doctor has to be of some kind of spiritual attainment otherwise he won't be able to treat you the herbs and they are limited help very limited you see the modern me- medicine is just herbal things just you know they have extracted the active component from whatever is already available in nature and when you produce synthetic medicine that is a copy of the natural so hacking that is what i call it. they hacked into this old system they made it useful and the old system well degraded completely lost because it needs spiritual attainment it needs you know the doctor needs to learn the use of the internal senses the empathetic sense sympathetic whatever it's called and uh, proper diagnosis there has to be a lot of training there natural talent and it, that is not found what do they do they read books by reading the book you become a bookworm you don't become a doctor it is hands hands on practice you need a guru you need spiritual attainment for that you need a spiritual path you need the sadhana then you get this quality or the expertise to heal people how many are there there are probably many most of them are fake because it gives them money they fake it i don't know what happens to the patients you know the patients are also stupid sometimes okay is satya singh riki is one such yes riki is a beautiful system you see now how many fakes are there in riki lots of them who has the real riki who is the spiritual attainment is those who are serious about their spiritual practice 
read a book on reiki or do the seven day course on reiki you know whatever level one level is all garbage some people have a natural ability probably you know sometimes we say the past life abilities they can do it without training these are exceptions like there are children they can play music or they can sing <laughs> at, the, at the age of 3 years or 4 years also you know they sing better than your so called pop singers so uh, <laughs> how do how do they have this ability something was downloaded from their previous memories abilities there born with that so some people are born with healing abilities and that is suppressed not explored in our society these things are suppressed what is encouraged you live like an animal eat like an animal and obey your government like sheep that is encouraged so very bad condition here amit is saying hat yoga nath sampradaya proclaim to have established science to manipulate played the pranas kapal bhati and much more sophisticated framework than rechak purak based prana <clears throat> patanjali so there are many systems many systems and uh, which one works which one is the best you will need to experience it yourself you will need to do it yourself to find that out whatever you are talking about is mostly the kundalini stuff so yes it seems that the kundalini people have uh, kind of discarded the non essential from the patanjali and concentrated mostly on indirect manipulation like the active ingredient i was talking about they took the active in- ingredient out of the pranayam ashtang and they have developed it further so yes i think amit is right you see you bypass the system and then the, it becomes risky you bypass the purification process that is uh, the essence of the patanjali yoga and now it becomes risky because you see impure body and mind they start doing kapal bhati and all this and they suffer forever whole life is suffering now <laughs> some some manipulation happened in the energies and now they are imbalanced or something has gone wrong there so there are risks of these things patanjali is full proof if you do it under a guru then the risk is not there do we really need all these things no the path of knowledge bypasses all these things that is the only path that i have found where you get all the abilities without doing anything how is that possible we have these abilities naturally like you don't uh, need to um, you know inject a child with some medicine or some drug to make him walk and talk no the child learns and there is a natural ability there you don't need to treat the child so that he gets the abilities no yoga practices for the child he gets this natural ability to walk and talk so uh, it is uh, we have natural abilities like that don't need practices Sparthi is saying your guru diagnosed you also upon kundalini practices or activation. Is it the same diagnosed by non-physical senses? No. <laughs> In kundalini practice, unfortunately, no evaluation happens. They give it to everybody, and then they hope that they will manage somehow, which is not correct according to me. So no diagnosis, no no evaluation. It was simply given, and then. you see it fails like this satyai singh understood that intention is the basic requirement nothing works without intention yes when i talk about intention i talk about the tantra path the occult path on the path of knowledge you make use of it but no we don't uh, utilize it for spiritual progress we utilize knowledge but yes intention is the basic requirement nothing moves you cannot even get up in the morning if there is no intention to get up but we are we don't talk about that kind of intention we we say spiritual intention yes he is saying in in healing also yes we uh, we say it is the spiritual intention sankalp if you if you cannot hold that kind of intention no no healing is possible how long should we hold it as long as it is required do this practitioners the healers they hold it no probably they don't even know it you will need to be constantly thinking about the patient and who has the time for that 
probably they get 10 patients per day and then who has the time to hold intention for everybody no nobody so the, there are healing circles and healing groups and what do they do they sit and simply hold the intention for the patient does it work i don't know <laughs> i don't know because the healing group has hardly any spiritual attainment you know the somebody who has a spiritual attainment will never do these things because those who have understood the karmic consequences of it they don't do it those who have attachment with the body and the world they want to do it but as you progress you see that they are toys don't play with the toys now so that is why on the path of knowledge there is no the abilities are not encouraged yes it has a lot of consequences you meddle with the maya and there is consequence sometimes i say you do it as a profession that is much better than uh, simply meddling here do it as a profession the maya never says they do not heal patients no what is maya saying that you are letting your spiritual progress stop because you have you have you have an ability you see the siddhis become an obstacle like they say so your progress is stopped and then you get the consequences so what do i say you don't have any means of earning money you use your ability nobody is stopping charge money for it do not meddle simply because you have the ability when you charge money for it you say that i am doing it for my body i am serving my body my body needs food i need money to buy the food and that's why i am using it now you can be excused for that you are doing it for display you are doing it to prove that you are superior than these people now it is a problem see the there is a dark side of this thing that you can heal people yes but with the same intention you can harm people it is possible and that is the dark side of the occult that is the left handed path so there are the there are problems with these things you see amit is saying commercial outlook messes up or at the very least severely limits the efficacy of freaky healers ayurvedic doctors and at yoga yes money has corrupted everything so they see that patients have blind faith in such doctors and they then misuse them because a patient has lost the ability to think why because totally frustrated with the disease you know pain nobody wants pain and they go irrational they are, they are ready to try anything to get rid of the pain you know? nobody uh, nobody bothers about logical thinking at that point oh he cures okay i'll go there and the charge this much money okay i'm going to take that risk there is a chance in you know, a 50 50 chance or 60 40 chance so they go and they try it so these healers they survive on these uh, miserable people they, there is <laughs> this is kind of lot of karmic issues here isn't it lot of stuff here so i don't think there are any ethical guidelines or anything for these things is going on rahani singh charging money also releases karmic bond as well yes you see it can form a bond or it can release a bond depending on your intention like i said you are taking the money to support your body support your life physical life biological life and then it is kind of okay in my view at least there can be views here there can be opinions here it is called use it is it will not be called misuse so you sit there in your office you say look this there is this much chance that i'll hold an intention for you i'll diagnose you and this is the chance 25% chance that you will be healed and i charge this much for this service just like any other doctor you see the doctor also knows the medicine has a, let's say 30% chance to heal you and he says okay come back after 7 days and tell me what happened and the medicine did not work he gives you different medicine so something like this and it becomes your profession but uh, what people do is uh, for name fame and whatever manipulate people they use these um, things if you if it is not your profession do not do it it's as simple as that meera is asking when we use medication for our diseases we are interfering with karmic cycle no it's okay to take med- meditations 
I am sorry, medication, medicines. If it is because of the karmic issues, then it will reappear. The disease will reappear. That is what is seen. Medicines fail. These healings, they fail. If it is the karmic issue, if it is up reappearing again and again and again, even the healers, they give up. They say, no, it is a karmic issue. You cannot do it now. You need to go through it. So, yes, you can treat it. Try to treat it. It keeps reappearing, which it means there is something else. What happens is, if, if you are powerful enough to simply clear it, that means you have taken some of the karmic stuff yourself. And that is not recommended. It was a nice satsang. And I hope everybody enjoyed it. Everybody got their answers. And hopefully you are enjoying the program also. And I'll meet you next time. Thank you very much for att attending the meeting.